Tita. Nagbukalo. Nagbukalo. Eh, bukalo. I've always thought I was pretty good with pain, but I think we're gonna. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, we're gonna see. <laughs> okay, you ready? Ready. There you go. Ah! A little bit. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been tattooing? I've uh, going on about 13, 12, 13 years. Wow. When I did airbrushing, I used to, uh, I used to have like really good, like a, it was like seasonal, I would, I would do really good, and then like during the winter time, I'd go, I'd kind of get a little slower. Uh-huh. So, I knew I wanted to do art, so I just, so I man, I better do something that's you know, more consistent. Uh-huh. And, uh, I always knew like tattooing was an option. Yeah. When I was a little, I was about like 22, 23. Uh huh. A little more serious about I, I feel like recently, though, everyone's been getting tattooed. Oh, uh, oh Like yeah. recently, huh? It's booming for sure. Everybody's, everybody's doing it. Yeah. A lot more accepted now, you know? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of good artists everywhere, you know, doing a good job. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, back when I was in my 20s, it was. Like you were seen differently if you had all this. Seen different. It was hard to find someone that did a good job. Uh huh. You know, it, was, it was a lot more taboo for sure. Now it's hard to find somebody that doesn't have a tattoo. That's so true. I used to do airbrushing. You ever like go to the fair and get airbrush t-shirts and stuff? Oh yeah 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 yeah. I used to do that back in the day, but now I just do this. I don't even want to know what my parents are going to say when they see it. Para que no te pinta la cola. Para que no te lo vean. Oh my god. Ama, perdóname. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm trying to make that. They don't even come in here. Yeah, for real? I get no support from them. Aww. It'd be like that sometimes. Yeah, no, my mom said, why don't you go back to school or something? Learn how to do something different. I'm like, I, I have a successful business. So yeah. Like, what else do you want? Yeah. She wouldn't want you doing, like, I don't know, I feel like. There's a lot of people that go to school, they don't even end up using their, you know? They don't, they don't end up using their degree, so why are you going to get stuck doing something that you don't enjoy, you know? What's been, you know, accepted as what's normal nowadays, so everybody does it, but and, uh, it's, a, it's pretty pretty broken system, you know? It makes more sense, like, you know, how, how old are you? 19. Yeah, you're 19. Good. A, a person normally really matures by the time they're like 23, 24, you know? They, and then at that point, you really know what you want, you know? And it's, so it's never too late to go to school, you know? Go out yeah. there. Get Unless you make excuses, then work. You know, learn how to work. Yeah. Really know how to work. Wise words from Sergio. Yeah. Right? yeah. And then, uh, oh, uh, they're more from there. You know? It's not that it's bad. It's just that um, 
we're not in Mexico anymore. That's the thing. Like, they just, uh, you know, they know a few things. Like, okay, they don't want you to like, you know, do drugs, and they don't yeah. want you to follow like fucked up footsteps and shit. So like. What are the only options for you not to do that? And then just like, and even for American people, it's like the simple solution is just, just go to school and everything's gonna be okay. Yeah. It's not. No, it's just like. There's so many successful people too that they don't oh, go to yeah. school. Majority of them. And there's so many things that you don't learn in school. That's the thing too. I know. La cosa es de querer. Amigos y amigas. Yeah, yeah, you can take it by uh, learning how to freaking just treat people in general. Yeah. yeah my parents are so much better at they, I opened this place up and they didn't, they didn't come in here for like almost two years. Before huh. like one day my sister was driving around town with them and then like... Dice que para los cholos. Yeah. Me van a decir a mí que, que, que ando haciendo con esas choladas. Yeah. Yeah. Ya los escucho. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, Ama, it's for you. Yeah. No, she's gonna be like, no, it's not fair at all, Molo, son, it's bonito. Last time, guys, you guys saw the last, my la, uh, my first tattoo, the guy numbed it, which I didn't even want him to, but he numbed it. So, where are you located, Evan? Where is it, Main Street? And your name? Woodland, California. <laughs> your name? Oh, Sergio. Sergio para todos. Yeah. Come book an appointment. Uh, with Sergio because by the looks of it and if I hadn't seen his work you know and if I didn't know that I could trust him me lo hubiera pensado dos veces you know but aquí estamos he's doing a great job so I'm, I'm excited I know hasta comerciantes aquí mira out of all your tattoos, where do you think, which one hurts the most? Um, I'd have to say, uh, I had a pretty rough time with, uh, like this one right here. Mm -hmm. That section. Uh-huh. That was a little rough. Like your wrist? The bottom of it? I've got them everywhere, but like, for uh -huh. some reason that day, it was, it was my mate, like. Is there anything that you regret? Or not regret, but if you could like think it twice. Like maybe like, like this is a cool tattoo that I like. Uh -huh. I just don't like the direction I did it in. Oh, uh, okay. So and it's I'll not even the tattoo. It's kind of more like the yeah, angle. Yeah, just everything else flows up on my uh -huh. arms, and this one is, is like coming out that way. Uh, an angle, so it, I don't really dig that. But okay. Other than that, okay. how you doing? Good. I'm taking it like a champ. Oh yeah.
looking like, you guys. Let me put it under the light. Little birdie in the back. I wasn't gonna get something huge with the other guy over there, bro. Hell yeah, look at this. He's gonna add a little bit of white. Oh, he's just making it look ahead of the bomb. 